Hi, I'm Josh Blake. I'm a Connect for Windows MVP, and I just got my hands on the brand new Connect for Windows version 2 developer program alpha kit. Basically the new version of Connect for Windows. And I'm going to open it right here and make a quick little video to show you what's in the box. So let's take a look. So the box is pretty nondescriptive on the outside. This is actually the bottom. I'll just show you the left side here. The interesting thing to watch out for here is this last number. And if you're in the United States, you'll get a one that ends in one, which has the power adapter for United States. And if you are international, then you're probably going to get one with a two. So uh, make sure you watch out for that if you happen to be in a different country than normal. So we can open this thing up. And on the inside is this zebra camouflage. And then this cool Connect for Windows Shield logo in the developer preview. And this is actually two things. One is a sticker sheet with the Connect for Windows Shield. And this is uh, cutouts for a Connect and some people. And this is a note from the Connect for Windows team. And then inside we have the actual sensor. So let's take this thing out. And I have not actually opened this up yet. So I'm looking at this for the first time with you. So we have the actual sensor here. And it's connected by lots of cabling in the back here. So let me move this over a little bit so I can get this open, give you a little bit better view. So we have the connect sensor here and uh, let's go ahead and do this new electronic peel off thing. All right, that's so satisfying. It's a little bit more up here. Well, so we have the color sensor and somewhere in here is the infrared sensor, but it's not visible through the plastic. And we have infrared lighting that's in here that also won't be visible. Uh, this is the sound bar and also the stand. So we can actually tilt it down or up a little bit. And so this, the, the microphone is inside this bar and that's integrated. On the bottom, we have a standard tripod mount. So you can screw in a tripod to uh, the new Kinect sensor. And so that's gonna be really useful. And we have this uh, more zebra camouflage all over the place. And on the back looks to be a uh, fan for ventilation and this cord. And this cord is uh, permanently mounted here and it comes down and out to here. And there's a little cover on here, I believe. And it comes out to this proprietary connector and this will have the USB 3 power as well as the, or the USB 3 and power. And there's further adapters inside the box. Now this is a early uh, breakout board for just for the developer program. The final version is going to be a lot smaller. So this has the connector for uh, the connect sensor and then ports on either side for power and then what will connect to a USB 3 port. So we can connect this up to here. We can get that to go in. Is that even right? Yeah. No. This side. Okay. This side is where this one goes. And the USB 3 comes in the other side. There we go. So that's in there. 
And let's search for some more cables. Got another box. Alright, and I'm not going to unbox all of this stuff, but this is a you know, standard power cord, and that plugs into what is basically an Xbox AC adapter. So that plugs into this guy, and this plugs into the other side of this breakout box. And that goes in right about there, maybe this way. There we go. And then the USB 3 cord would come there and plug into the computer. And so the rest of what's in here is a USB 3 cable and a different power cord. I'm not sure what those two. Yep, these are about identical. That's interesting. All right. So there is the connect sensor and the box. That's everything that's in the box. The SDK is downloadable from the link provided in the welcome kit letter. Although I don't think that link is live yet. So uh, it probably requires you to log in. So that's the new Connect sensor. I'll follow up in a couple of days once I get this thing up and running my computer.